everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm a third year biomedical engineering student at UBC. So today I'm actually going to campus, which is really fun. So I'll show you guys like the library and things like that. But I just had my morning meeting with my internship, so that went well. But it's currently 11.30 and I actually haven't made breakfast. I kind of slept in today, so I'm gonna go make breakfast now. Let's go! We've got a cute little oat milk, vanilla iced coffee, and then I'm just going to also make some oatmeal. Okay, so now I'm just packing my backpack to go to UBC. So I typically like to bring a sweater just because sometimes it can get cold inside the nest or the library, my laptop, water bottle, headphones, compass card, wallet, everything like that. And then I headed off to the bus stop with my mask, of course. Please wear your mask. Um, yeah, and this is just the bus loop at UBC. It's honestly really beautiful. This is inside the nest. So I headed to my absolute favorite place for lunch, which is the deli. Um, deli and porch are my two favorite places and their sandwiches are just bomb. Okay, hey guys, I just left the nest. Um, that sandwich took me a solid, like, fit. also it's super windy, so sorry if you can't hear me. That sandwich took me a solid, like, literally 20 minutes to eat because it was so huge. I'm just walking over to the IKB library to meet Julia, um, Julia and her friend, and then I'm going to work on some chem homework. It's so fun being on campus, I'm really excited to come back, but yeah. Hey guys, I was walking and I kid you not, forgot where IKB was. Even though I've been here this summer, but I literally haven't been on campus in like over a year. I got it mixed up with the other library, which is Kerner. So I walked an extra like 10 minutes, but it's all good. It's a nice day. <laughs> but I was like, wait, where is it? Oh, it's embarrassing. I just finished at the library so now I'm just heading um, to the bus stop because it's so it's 3 40 right now and I finished my quiz which was good we have like unlimited attempts and time so it's not like stressful like a quiz but that's just what it's called but yeah I'm just walking to the bus stop and then I'm gonna head home and then I have this training it's also really hot today i think we're gonna have another heat wave in vancouver because i was like we were on like the third floor of the library and i was dying it was so hot but yeah i'll see you guys at home okay i'm home now i just got a snack and now i'm just gonna set up my laptop for my meeting, which starts in 12 minutes. So this is for like, um, they're called like, it's like a UBC ambassadors program. So basically what I was doing before was I was just doing like e-mentoring um, with UBC engineering, like kind of with the um, outreach program at UBC. Um, and I did that since first year for, so for like a little bit over a year. Um, and then now they're kind of like transferring on to this like ambassador program thing. So it's like on this app and you kind of make a profile. And um, so like incoming engineering students can kind of look at people's pro, I think it's kind of like similar to social media or like LinkedIn in the sense that like you can look at people's profile and like see who you want to ask questions to. If you're an incoming UBC engineering student, I would definitely recommend looking that up. I will put in the description any updates because it hasn't like launched yet. Like all the ambassadors have made the accounts, but um, it's not like open yet for people to use. I put my glasses on when I do meetings so I look a little bit more professional, but I'm just logging on now. I have literally no idea what we're doing because I've already set up my account. 
Okay, well anyway, I would love if you guys are incoming students to chat with me on there. So in my upcoming videos or this one, like whenever it kind of get the program gets released, I'll post the details and you guys can message me and I can answer any questions there because I do believe like you get points and then that um, like helps you with um, like what you can put on LinkedIn and stuff like that. I don't know, but I would love to help you guys out. You can also always comment down below in the comments and yeah, I haven't really been into like posting a lot social media wise on Instagram. So I would prefer if you guys did message me just by commenting on my YouTube videos instead of DMing me because I really don't go on Instagram a lot. And since I'm private, like I don't have my Instagram like a social media vibe, just like a normal person vibe. So um, yeah, I never like look in my requests very rarely. So. Um, I'm sorry if I don't answer you guys on Instagram because sometimes I see a few of them um, and they're like from months ago just because I never go on there and I never look at my requests and this is just kind of another way and you can also see other students so there's people from different programs so if you want to talk to or different um, streams within engineering so if you want to talk to people about MEC, EngFizz, ELEC, like CPEN, like if you're in other streams there's other people that you can talk to on here so I think that's pretty cool. Alright so we'll get 